What's up guys, McCaddy here bringing you a brand new NU battle where we're going to be using my Mega Ordino team. Now, I just want to quickly make you guys aware, I've made a couple of changes with Behem. Uh, first one is that I've replaced en uh, Shadow Ball with Energy Ball, mainly just because it gave pretty useless coverage um, when I already had Dark Pulse as well. And I've also changed it to have Leftovers rather than the Choice Specs. I did like the wall breaking potential of it, but it was getting beaten by sort of predicted switches and... Um, the other main one was the a Mega Ordino Weezing Core, which just completely ripped it apart. So um, that that though, that's the main decision for the change of set. But it, so far, it seems to be working a little bit better, at least, with the ability to switch moves. So I will see you guys at the first battle. Okay, so we're against a guy called Krabs, who has quite the threatening team, actually. He has a Buffalant, which could be Choice Banded or even Swords Dance, and that is going to be seriously scary. A Malamar as well, which... We have a few things for, but um, if it starts setting up too much, I guess we can always trick it with a Choice Scarf, but that's not the most ideal situation, to be honest. I think we might be able to work around it. The Rotom again, um, which was that again? Oh, I, I don't know. Anyway, the Rotom, um, maybe Specs Magmortar, and that could be lead Archeops. I'm not too sure. So what I think I'm going to lead with, I'm quite happy to lead with Rotom again, just to scout out what he's going to do, because he has no, he has quite enough, Quite a few, um, oh, he's got a couple of electric weaknesses, so I can see it being quite useful. He does go out into the Rotom now. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for a, mm, we don't really want to go for a T-Bolt. He will outspeed us, so we're going to go for a Volt Switch, if he's Scarfed, obviously. If he's not Scarfed, then um, we are in a bit of trouble, but I have a feeling that probably is his choice Scarfer. So we'll just see what he decides to go for, because even if he Volt Switches me, I know it isn't, res it, it's neutral. But um, I don't really want to risk it and go out into the Claydol just yet. Okay, so he is slower than us. So he is either going for a Ghost-type move or a... Yeah, probably a Ghost-type move, to be honest. So, I mean, we could go into Audible. Or we could go into Con Artist. I don't particularly want to go into Con Artist because I am fearing the burn right there. So we're going to go out into Audible and see from there. He does have a few switch-ins for Audible. But uh, the Malamar, I've just remembered, is going to be weak to um, weak to Fairy as well. So that's actually not going to be as scary as I thought it was going to be. So we have a few options. We could get the Heal Bell off, or we could go for Calm Mind. Or even just go for a Draining Kiss, predicting the switch into something. In terms of what could come in, I guess he has the Malamar or the Bouffalant would be the main switch-ins here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for a Wish. It sounds a little bit weak, but um, I think that way, whatever he brings in, um, I am I going to Mega Up yet? I'm not going to Mega Up yet, because I'd like to keep the Regenerator going, because that means we can Wish, we can switch out. He does Volt Switch this turn, and that means we can go... Oh, it does Mega Me Up for some reason. Oh, well, I must I must have clicked it then. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure the box wasn't ticked, but there's not much you can do now. So he does go out into the Buffalant now. This is going to be scary, because um, we don't have a huge amount for this guy. We may have to go out into um, possibly the clay doll and get the reflect up. That's the only way I can see. I guess, because so we're not going to live a hit with con artists, that's the thing. Yeah, especially at plus two. Oh, he's put me in a tricky position. Bouffalant is seriously scary. Um, maybe the Claydol. Because the Reflect would be able to, would make life a little bit easier. But then I, he can just keep setting up if he has the Swords Dance. So, I think we're going to risk it. And we're going to go out into... Yeah, we're going to go out into Con Artist. Because so my way of thinking is we can always go for... Well, we can't go for Shadow Sneaks, unfortunately. But... Um, I think we can take a hit and we can heal back up if he goes to that. He does go for the head. Oh, that just one shot. I think that's choice banded. That's a real pain. Um, so that means from here. Thing is, I don't even know. I, I think Morwell should be able to take a hit. So we might have to do that and go for a play rough. But Bouffalant is seriously scary. I must admit, I didn't. I, I was worried. I'm worried more about the Swords Dance set than the, um, the Banded set. So we can go for a. Um, a play rough does do more. Yeah, we're going to go for a play rough here because um, I know there's a chance the Magmortar can come in, but we can always go out into Claydol and things like that. 
but I think this is going to have to be our check to Bufalant. Um, I don't know how much this will be doing when he does go for the head smash. I'm guessing 60%, something like that. Considering it one shot of the Kecleon, and I have maybe I have a bit better bulk than that, but and also it is a resisted hit. But I, as I said, I am kind of relying on the fact that he is banded. Considering the lack of leftovers, I'm pretty comfortable to say that he is. He does go out into the Magma Water as we thought he might do, and we do get the crit, which means we can actually go for the Sucker Punch here to take him out, which is really, really good. I know we have got that 10% damage from um, the Sucker Punch and uh, Life Orb, because obviously it's not Sheer Force boosted, but um, I think it's a worthy trade, to be honest, because we can take out that and um, sort of balance the books a little bit, because now he's lost his really, really strong Special Attacker. He does still have the Rotom, but that's really not going to be hitting as hard. He has a very, very physical team. So, um, he does go onto the roads from this turn. I am predicting the burn. So, in terms of switch-ins, we have a few options. We have, as obviously, Rotom, which I don't think can really do a huge amount. So, I think we're going to go back out into Audible, because I can get a Wish off. Um, and that's probably our best bet. I know he can go back out into the Boofalont, but, um, he does go for the T-Bot here, and I'm, f oh, burn's going to take us down. That's really unfortunate. So we're going to have to go for... Um, yeah, we're going to have to go just go for a wish here and risk it. But yeah, not um, that sort of glitch of... Um, or, or my mistake of not megaing up was definitely a mistake here. Um, so he does end up taking us out that turn, which is really, really unfortunate. So I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go out into... We're going to have to go out into Smarty, I think, and actually ha like take a hit... That's the only way I think we can really take this guy out. I'm pretty confident that I can live a Shadow Ball. Um, and because none of my other Pokemon really, really like, handle Rotom. So we're going to go out into Smarty here and go for a Dark Pulse and see from there. But in, in terms of the team, I'm still, I'm still not happy with it. I still feel it needs some work. I'm not sure exactly how. I would appreciate some suggestions from you guys. He does go for the Shadow Ball here as a Dark Pulse will take him out. Um, I know it was quite a big trade-off of hits, but in my opinion, I think it was worth it. Every time he goes out into the Boofalant now, I can always go out into um, into Morwell, because we know that that can check it. He does go out into the Kabutops this turn. I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go for a... We're just going to have to go for a oh no, just Energy Ball here. Energy Ball is probably the best play, uh, best play. And go out into Rotom afterwards, sacking off Behem, unfortunately. Because all the rest of his team are out speed and there's no point switching out anything else. So we can go for Rotom here. And I'm pretty comfortable going for a T-Bolt actually. Because I think that will two hit KO, KO pretty much the rest of his team. And even that might even be my win condition. So we're going to go for a T-Bolt. Because he doesn't have Sturdy or anything like that. I don't think Aqua Jet's going to do a huge amount. And I'm pretty sure we can one-shot the Kabutops as well. But... As I said, I'm not I'm not sure what it is with this team, but it's still not performing as well as I'd like, like it to. I don't know whether it's because Mega Ordino is quite situational. Like, it is really, really good once you get some Calm Minds up and things like that. But the lack of recovery compared to its non-Mega form does mean that it does suffer for its sort of walling potential. So we get 58%, so that's absolutely huge. So we can go for another Thunderbolt here, and I think we pretty much... Um, cover the rest of his team by the looks of things because if he goes down to the Boofalont I'm obviously not going to stay in I'm going to go out into Claydol and get a free then sack Claydol get a free switch out into Morwell and I think that's probably the best bet because we do need to make sure we can take out this, this Boofalont and I don't think uh, Rotom has the offensive power to one shot it unfortunately so T-Bot is going to be able to take him out as he does bring back out the Boofalont so, we're going to go out into... N Let's see. Yeah, we're going to have to go out into Not the Eyes, I think. And hope that we can take one. If we can take two, that would be really good. But I don't think we will be. Um, it's st I'm starting to worry whether this is Scarfed. But I don't... I, I wouldn't say it is. They're normally banded. And that does... Yeah, it's, that's definitely banded. Um, hopefully the recall as well will be able to bring him down to a point where I can then KO him from there. So we're just going to click reflect because obviously um, we are going to sack it off. But that, that extra recall damage might make the difference. Bufalon is extremely bulky so there is a chance that it may not. 
Um, but it's all about whistling him down. Because we can whistle him down with a more... We outspeed and we get the reflect. That is huge. Um, because now we can go out into Jaws. I didn't even consider the fact that we'd outspeed. How how fast is it? Is that how you spell it? Uh, Bouffelant. Oh, apparently I'm locked from talking. <laughs> I don't know. Um, there seems to be some sort of glitch with it. Uh, so we're going to go... We're just going to go for a play rough. Because that's... all oh, actually, Iron Head's probably a better bet. Because it's super effective on the Archeops. Just in case that decides to go in. And that slight drop in power. And it's 100% accurate. That's probably the best bet. But I'm comfortable to say that this is choice locked. And the Reflect is going to make so much difference. So he does go out into the Kabutops here as an Iron Head. Really doesn't do enough. But I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to stay in. Is that the right play though? Because he he's might have the Earthquake. That's the thing. And if we can go out into Rotom. I think in terms of risk reward. I think going out into the Rotom is the better play. Because if we can avoid the Earthquake. I don't think a, a Waterfall and an Aqua Jet combo will take us out. I think that's the best bet. So we're going to go out into Rotom here. Because I can't see any other move this guy's going to be going for. Especially with that Reflect Up. And Jaws is just going to be our sort of backup win condition at this point. Um, but Rotom definitely is. And I'm, I'm pretty comfortable that I can live a hit from this guy. Outside of a crit. That's the only thing I can see. Um, I'm not too sure about this Archeops. What that's going to be doing. But we shall have to see. We do have Sucker Punch with Jaws. And um, obviously the uh, Rotom should be able to get a T-Bolt off. Which will one-shot that Archeops. He goes for the knockoff here. Knocking off our Choice Scarf. That might make a difference in the long run, especially against that Archeops. So we're going to have to go for another T-Bolt here. Forcing him to switch out or sack it off. I didn't expect the knockoff, I must admit, especially with me being um, fairy type. I guess it would it not would have knocked off my life orb, but I was, I was expecting an earthquake there. So that was a little bit surprising. Even if he goes out to the Archeops, I have a feeling I can take a hit. I think, with um, a Stone Edge and then KO back from there. But we, we'll have to see. We'll, we'll let him let him make, make his move and we'll see from there. But I think we have the potential to win this. It just depends what he goes out into now. So he goes out into the Bouffalant. I think we're going to have to go for the T-Bolt this turn. Let's see. Because we got the Reflect up. So we can. Li I'm pretty confident we can live a hit. Yeah, we should be able to live a hit from there. And two T-Bolts will kill it, take him out. And I think that's the play to make. Because the light screen will still be up. And I think we can live an EQ from an Archeops with Mawile after that. So a T-Bolt doesn't take him out as he misses his Stone Edge. Um, and he ends up forfeiting anyway. Whether that would have KO'd, I'm not too sure. Um, if you want to, you can run the Calcs. But I, I have a feeling I would have lived that anyway. So I don't think in the long run it would have made any difference. So, um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the battle, and I will see you guys at the next video. The caddy out.